Hi there, my name's Henry and I'm a member of the Data School's 27th cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to combine data using unions in Tableau. This video is the third of a four-part series, so I strongly recommend you watch parts one and two on relationships and joins in Tableau before carrying on with this one. OK, let's jump into Tableau and see how to set up a union. So I'm connected to the bookshop dataset, which I've linked down in the description. And this is also the result of what we did in videos one and two on relationships, represented by these noodles, and joins, represented by this Venn diagram here. So um, as a bare minimum, I think what you should do is bring book out onto the canvas, and then bring addition out onto the canvas if you don't want to go back and watch those videos. Tableau should automatically set up the relationship after you drop book table and the addition table, so you don't need to worry past that. Now, what we're going to do is set up a union, and a union is used for stacking data on top of each other. That's what a union will look like. So we can see here on the left-hand side the tables that make up the bookshop data set. We can see we have four tables that look quite similar. Sales for quarters one, through four for this year that the bookshop was operating. Now, it's best to use unions when you know that you have common fields across uh, all of the tables that you want to bring into the union. So if we have a little look at sales quarter one here by clicking on this view data, we can see we have the ISBN number, an item ID, an order ID, a sale date, and a discount. So this is the information that we have in our sales quarter one table. Let's just check before we set up our union that we have similar information for the other tables. We can see here in sales quarter two, we have the ISBN, item ID, order ID, sale date, and the discount. So we can be fairly confident that the same is true for sales quarter three and quarter four. And I'm quite familiar with this data set, so I know that that is true. So to set up a union, let's just drag sales onto the canvas here. And we're relating it to addition. And we're setting up that relationship on the ISBN number. If we click on addition, we can see that ISBN is common across the addition table and it's common across the sale table. And we know, because we've just examined the sales tables, that ISBN is common across all quarters. So now that we've set up that relationship, we can double click on the sales quarter one table, which will enter us into the physical layer. And we know from our previous videos that the physical layer is where joins and unions both happen. To set up the union, we can grab the sales quarter two table and just drag it underneath sales quarter one. And you'll see it says drag table to union when you get close enough. So if you move over that and it turns orange, then you can let go. And we see that the table is slightly stacked. It might be a little bit hard to see um, the table representation here, but we do see that sales quarter one is made up of two tables. And if we want to investigate that a little bit more closely, we can right click and edit the union. And we see here that we've got sales quarter one and sales quarter two. So what we can do is we can drag sales quarter three and sales quarter four into the union. We see we've got four tables. We can click on apply and okay we can see that sales quarter one is made of four tables. We'll click X to exit from the physical layer. And this might be a little confusing now because we have sales for all of our quarters, but it's still named sales quarter one. So what we can do is just rename that to sales. Press enter and we have it renamed. And that is how you set up a union in Tableau. Thank you for watching. I hope you now feel more confident in setting up unions in Tableau. If you'd like to watch the final video in this series, then please click on the thumbnail in the bottom right. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be notified when we release new videos.